Thank you. Uh, the National Disaster Response Force, as you all know, is the first responder, the federal first responder for any kind of disaster. This was a chemical gas leak, and the incident happened, as per report, at around 2.30 a.m. in the night, previous night. Initially, the people were affected in terms of throat irritation, skin irritation, and some toxic gas smell. So the local villagers tried to contact the local administration and the local police station. And the initial movement was from the local police station, the local civic administration, and the fire services. Uh, around 5.30 or 5.45, the local NDRF unit, which is stationed in, uh, in Vishakapatnam, which is called the Regional Response Center unit, RRC unit, was informed. And the RRC unit immediately rushed and was there within half an hour. And after that, they helped in two ways. The first was for uh, neutralizing the situation inside the uh, polymers, uh, LG polymer factory itself. And the second is for the evacuation of the villages, uh, villagers near the factory site, which is the abutting uh, village of uh, Venkatapuram. So about 200 to 250 families were evacuated. And door-to-door uh, -door search was done by the NDRF. As you all know that uh, the NDRF is, as uh, the member uh, Mr. Kamal Kishore said, NDRF is equipped with uh, experts who handle chemical disasters. So this team also had experts and those were uh, suited up in the chemical uh, resistant suits as well as oxygen cylinders and they went into the premises and also door to door to recover people who may be stranded. There were some people who were unconscious or semi-conscious. There were people who were not able to move. There were children, there were women, there were people who are elders. All of them were helped. And in the process, more than 500 uh, persons were evacuated from that area. The NDRF also has stayed back and will stay back. The unit will stay back in that area till we are absolutely sure that uh, situation is absolutely under control. As things stand, uh, the reported death toll, as reported by the Andhra Pradesh authorities there, is nine, nine dead. And uh, there are some people who are critical, but uh, there are most of the people who have been uh, given first aid and uh, relative treatment, and they are generally fine. Uh, the NDRF on it part, on its part, will continue to be on the site, as I said, and it will assist the local administration till it is required. So I underline till it is required. Uh, additionally, as hinted by the member, an expert team of NDRF will be flying in from Pune into Vishakapatnam. Now let me explain about this team. As I must explain that NDRF has specialized teams all across India, and some teams specialize, are more specialized than others. The chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear team, specialized team, happens to be in the 5th Battalion Pune of NDRF, CBRN team. So this is a chemical disaster, and that's why the commandant, Mr. Anupam Srivastav, and his team of four personnel will be flying in from Pune to assess the situation on ground and to give any assistance that is required. So as of now, things are under control. I would say that uh, the leakage situation is much better now in the sense that these, there are, there were, the silo that was leaki, leaking is now down to minimal and there is hardly any leakage there. But as, I'm, as I say that, I also uh, underline that uh, we will be there till that leakage is totally plugged. And other measures to neutralize the entire uh, uh, chemical situation there is also being taken. So overall, the situation is under control. And I think overall, we can say that uh, now it is a question of rehabilitation and treatment of the people who have been affected. That's all from the NDRF. Thank uh you. -huh.